Today, 25 of November 2016, the Association for Intercultural Dialogue and Humanizator TV started the campaign Call for Ahimsha, 16 Days of Activism Against Gender Violence Around the World. The event Stop Violence took place in the North Railway Station in Bucharest. The passengers in the Bucharest North Railway Station could see the Statue Theatre, Let's Overcome the Violence, performed by students from National College Ion Luca Caragiale, National College Mihai Eminescu, National College Octav Onicescu, Theoretical High School Ion Barbu, Theoretical High School Alexandru Ioan Cuza, Theoretical High School Mircea Vulcănescu, Bulgarian Theoretical High School Hristo Botev. The school inspector of School Inspectorate of Bucharest Municipality, Professor Adrian Gabriel Horvat highlighted the importance of the event. Un spațiu neconvențional, e un spațiu public, dar de nord se poate vedea mulțimea de, de oameni, partea a, a societății. Din partea societății știm cu toții că pot veni foarte multe influențe, pozitive, dar și negative, din păcate, în ceea ce privește educația copiilor noștri. Astăzi, cu ocazia să pătorim zilei toleranței, vrem să venim cu un mesaj foarte clar împotriva violenței, violenței de toate felurile, a violenței domestice, a violenței împotriva copiilor, a violenței în familie. Statuary groups represented in the frame of statue theater were especially expressed by students who embodied the most common type of violence. Messages evoked strong feelings and urge for non-violence. The first to perform were the students from Ion Barbu, Barbu High School, which had a strong message against violence and developed the concept of Ahimsha. <laughs> The students from Mircea Vulcanescu High School took attitude against domestic violence. Și ce vreți să transmiteți? Să nu vă bateți nevestele, neapărat. Sunt la asta reprezintă o familie. Eu fiind mama, eu fiind tată. Și ei sunt fetele fetele familiei. Și copiii vă sunt la adulți bătaie și sărturi. Și au decis să vă găsi același lucru. Și motorul nostru este femeile și copiii nu trebuie bătăți. Credeți că generația voastră o să depășească violența? Da, credem. Cu puțină străduință, dar chiar o să putem. Mulțumesc! Că am fost lovită de fratele meu mai mare, care a văzut că m-am ieșitat și se certau și m-a bătut și pe mine. Care e mesajul pe care vrei să-l transmiți? Că noi nu trebuie să fim bătuți, trebuie să fim iubiți. Nu costim niște copii. 
credeți că generația voastră va reuși să elimine violența? Cred că da, dacă ne punim forțele, cred că o să reușim. Students from National High School, Octav Onicescu, have expressed a very hard scene of the concept of violence, the violence against the human beside you. The students from the National College, Ion Luca Caragiale, have performed through Statue Theatre a very powerful message. Violence is annihilating the human condition. Somebody wants to tell me something? Yeah. Uh, so, as we know, uh, there where are... Where are you from? Your name? Uh, and, uh, my name is uh, Maria, and uh, I'm from uh, the National College uh, Ion Luca Caragiale. And uh, we are trying to prevent uh, other cases of um, domestic abuse, because uh, we all know this is... Uh, this happens a lot in uh, the whole world, meaning uh, just per minute there are uh, 20 people who are abused in, uh, only in the United States and that makes over a million um, people who are abused every year. And this is actually quite uh, disturbing considering we should make this not happen anymore because it's wrong. And um, this is the message we're trying to deliver. Um, this is uh, the father who abuses his ch uh, children. And we are trying to represent that this uh, shouldn't happen. Because people who are abusing their childhood usually grow up to be abusers themselves. And this is uh, something that should be prevented in any way possible. Do you think that your generation will uh, overcome uh, violence? Um, I hope so. I really hope so because we should live in a world with no violence. The violence is already really in the whole world Hello. and we shouldn't... Do you want me to hear what I have to say about this? Yeah. Parents who beat up their children do not deserve their children. God graced them with somebody to be their life, to be their offspring, and they created their life, and they mock it, and they destroy it. And this may sound like ISIS or like a religious extremist, but I am not even joking. A child comes into the world with absolutely no idea of what's good and what's bad. All she knows is that she loves his parents beyond everything. And even though their parents, his parents, view themselves as the perfect standard of goodness and as they know everything that's good and bad for him, his, their child would probably do just as much as they would do for him, no matter if he has a perfect understanding of the world or not. And when you raise a hand up on your child and smack him or even dare to try to threaten him, you shatter the only piece of goodness and of love that you have for yourself. It's a diamond 
that you put in the dirt and let to go to waste. And parents who do not learn to appreciate the love they have created with their own hands do not deserve a place in this world. They are an utter waste of human life. And uh, uh, the violence is uh, on uh, children and uh, also on uh, women. Yes, and, and, uh, and that and is also men. a bad thing. Men are probably not as bad, but the first thing is nobody should be abused and nobody should have to suffer and go through violence. Also women, because probably men think that women are their property and I do not know what causes that, but... Patriarchal mentality. That also, that might also be the cause. That also can lead, the, the violence that somebody suffers as a child can lead to violence along their adult life and can ruin families and lives. Uh, what is your message, the message of your generation against violence? To the children that suffer? Uh, children, violence in general. Violence because if everybody suffers. If you are a parent and you think of abusing your own child, think of this. You are shattering and you are destroying your only true love. Your child probably loves you more than your significant other or than any other colleague you eye at work and think about going on Saturday night when your child is home alone and all he wants is for you to be there and to read him a bedtime story. And if you are, if you have parents that ever hit you even once, remember, you are not alone and you did not deserve what happened to you. Love will come to you eventually. Thank you. No matter what happens, you will always be repaid and you will find love from somebody who will take care of you better than somebody else did. And uh, your generation, I think, uh, will uh, take attitude uh, everywhere when uh, human rights, women rights, children rights will I be would broken. I like to add that men are also abused and they shouldn't feel like they're weak if they seek for help. I know police usually ignores them, but you need to step up for yourselves. I mean, you don't have to live like this. This is not something you have to settle for. This is just not right and you should really seek for help and you know there are refugees in which you can go and seek help. So men shouldn't be abused. We as either. men are actually being dehumanized because of our emotions. We are always told to not cry, to not show any pain, to grow a pair, to man up, to harden. And that is like we are being expected to have no emotions and then we are being called on and picked on because we have no emotions towards others. So the world is very hypocritical towards us, is what I think. Thank you. You're welcome. We hope this will change things. And there are so many people who gathered here today to make this uh, cause uh, stop being... Uh, wait. Meaning, I want, we want this to stop because we... Uh, we are conscious that this shouldn't happen and we don't agree with it and we want everyone to step up for themse themselves and just do something about it. You don't do, have to live in abuse. Do you think that uh, the action uh, we uh, and uh, our uh, campaign is uh, useful uh, to stop violence, to eliminate violence? If given enough attention, yes, but there is being plenty of campaigns and other activist actions being ta taking place all over the world, but the problem isn't the actions themselves, it's, uh, it's the feelings they arise in the hearts of others. If people do not pay attention to that and do not let themselves feel that this is wrong and feel that they should counteract with love and understanding and tolerance, then that's the problem because people are afraid. They think they are not good, they think their love doesn't matter because it's only them. You but must teach them. Yes, and just remember that no matter where you are, if a drop by drop you fill the bucket and, small, and piece by piece you can build a world without hate and with love and with better place for your children, for your parents and for everybody to live in. It doesn't Thank matter you. that. Thank you. I hope to. Thank and no you. no matter your age, it doesn't matter from what your background, what happened to you, it can always get better and you can always make a change. It will always be better and you can always do something. It doesn't matter where you come from or what happened to you or how old you are. Sure. Thank you. The scene performed by students from Bulgarian Theoretical High School, Christo Botev, has two stages, the violence stages and the recovery of the peace and caring stage. Also, their messages drew attention of the passengers.
Alexander Ioan Cusa High School presented the play. The hands are for caressing, in which they showed different types of domestic violence. Another message is the same high school highlighted the severe consequences of violence, which is a dehumanizing factor. The students from the National College, Mihai Minescu, launched the message that violence is a weapon of the week. Activity developed was very useful. Both actors and spectators understanding necessity to eliminate violence. Campaign will continue during next days.